All right, we're <coughs> in the Christmas time. I uh, had the Messiah concert last night and we just wanted to update you with a few things that have been going on around here. Uh, some of the work that we've been continuing on with and a little bit about uh, how we are actually finishing the space that's up here. We're calling it the loft and uh, the grandchildren are asking about it all the time. Um, so you will see in this video um, a little bit of the work that we're actually doing to this space, uh, including a ladder that will be uh, installed in the space in front of the um, pantry door here. Um, so allowing whoever wants to uh, visit the loft space to actually climb up. There will be some um, wrought iron uh, railings that we're going to be putting on the side so you can hold on. Um, and there's a, a hook for the ladder itself and we're also uh, building the doors and you'll see the beginning of the building of the doors um, in this particular section. So this is a small little post and we'll also show you some of the sites of our chickens uh, now that they've moved into the, the hoop house and uh, uh, you'll see how they're getting along, they're growing. Anyways, so this is just an update and uh, we hope you enjoy. Hello, thanks for joining us at East Marsh Acres and we've had a little bit of a um, yeah, decorating weekend, getting ready for Christmas. We celebrated Rachel's birthday and uh, so I'd like just like to show you around um, some of our decorations that we do. This is all new for us in this house. So it's uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. So this is life in our house right now it's a little bit of a mess after all the decorating this weekend and getting the loft ready so i'm just going to turn around and so as you can see in this window we have um, a swedish star and uh yeah we like to have a little bit of sweden in uh our house at christmas time um, due to the fact that our son Jonathan and Danielle and their kids um, lived in Sweden for seven years so we have a fondness for um, their Christmas things too as well as their Christmas goat that their town always had too. Um, we have a nice manger scene which has been we've had that in our family for many 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 years and that comes out every year um the kids also have fun moving the characters around and um as you can see the animals are right around the manger scene <laughs> due to our granddaughter and how she likes to decorate so um yeah we don't have a fireplace but we have kind of a um uh, entertainment area here so um, I've got some candles and some uh, lights okay. there and that's where our stockings are hanging um, this year and way up here we that was a feat to get up there but we've got another Swedish star there and it looks really nice from the outdoors um going to the side we have um, some garland across the top here and it used to be on our staircase in our other house and it fits perfectly along this wall uh, in the middle of the table last week i went to a um, centerpiece workshop at our church and i oh, made this this uh, centerpiece here um, for our table for Christmas and uh, Rachel she made this beautiful centerpiece here um, at that same workshop so uh, yeah we like to we're kind of making things look a bit natural hopefully we got some bling though in there some gold so and then the weekend we had the kids and the rest of us decorate the trees so what i've done this year instead of one big tree or real tree that you 
throw out. Um, I decided to get three live trees. So these are baby blue spruce trees. And so the three of them make a nice triangle, like a tree. Um, and yeah, we decorated them. I think it looks kind of cool. So the, um, the goal is to keep them alive till the springtime where we can plant them in the yard. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of we're not wasting anything and we're getting some trees for our property. So that's about it for the decorating that we have going in our main floor. And uh, hope you like it and you'll see a little bit more possibly when we're getting the loft ready for our grandchildren. Uh, the goal is to get it ready by the time we see them um, and celebrate with the whole family uh, after Christmas. So uh, talk to you later. Take care. So what I'm doing here is I'm painting uh, the ladder to go up in that loft space for our grandchildren. So I found this ladder on Facebook Marketplace. There's a double 10 foot ladder that, you know, kind of is. So extension. we're going to use one extension ladder. We're going to use one part of it. And uh, so I didn't paint the ends because it's, it's a little bit too tall. So we're going to have to cut it off anyways. And then there's going to be hooks on it to actually hook onto a bar that, um, so black bar. Um, and then we'll have hand holds as well too. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, this will be dry for tomorrow. We can see where we have to cut it tomorrow and um, get the bars up. So yeah, we'll, uh, another step done. Okay, you wanna talk a little bit about the decorations down here too? <laughs> well, there's only a few, but yeah, these decorations, well, we, we made them with our kids in 1998. So uh, when I was into folk art painting, so it was before my pre-fine art painting. Is there one on my door? Yeah, there's a Santa Claus on your door. Rebecca painted that one. I, I haven't shown much of my office, but uh, I'll just poke her head in the office in, in the door. We do have. A, one of these is going to start budding again. This one just finished. Orchids. Anyways. Continue on. Um. Well, the only decoration I, um, that, so this is a, yeah, one of those Christmas village scenes. And uh, we painted them with the kids as well, too, when they were younger. So uh, Jonathan painted this one, Rebecca painted the school, Rachel painted the market, I painted the church, and the barber. And the barber's special to me because my dad was a barber. Yeah, and then we painted some of the, the uh, little people, whatever, added some trees this year, and uh, yeah. And then we uh, added Hogwarts. <laughs> and now we have the Lego Hogwarts Christmas added to our village. So that's sitting up on the hill of our village for Christmas. So. A little bit about the window too? Um, well, this is, a, this is an old window that Rachel had. And so, well, right now I've got a wreath on it, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to put, we've got a couple old windows there. Um, it's covered up right now. Um, so I don't get blue paint on it. We're going to put those couple of windows there and we probably will fill in some of the openings um, with some pictures of our travels, I think. And uh, that's about it. Well, no, actually. So Rachel um, made this beautiful wreath. Uh, with her colleagues from work and uh, they did that as an activity and then Rachel also did the the urns outside so.
Mm -hmm. We don't have any. The one's a little on the dark side. It's in the corner. We don't have any lights outside at all because we have no outlets outside. <laughs> so Yet. not this year, I doubt. So okay, that's that's it for the decoration. All right, hey everyone. Um, so this is what we've been working on getting that loft area ready above the pantry. Um, so we've been working on a door because safety first for little nieces not falling out of um, the loft and down a significant height. Um, so this is the door that we've been building and we had by request um, a Dutch door. So it'll swing, imagine both are, but half will swing open if they choose to or not. Um, we're gonna uh, trim it out um, in a bit of another piece of wood just to make it look well, a little bit more it. finished. Um, in this piece here. So it's gonna be a bit more trimmed out um, for both sides. No, thank you. Uh, and then there will be a handle, a pull string here to unlatch the latch on the other side. Um, and yeah, that's what we've been working on. And then mom's been working on the ladder, um, which we'll show you in a bit that they'll be able to climb up on with some safety rails and all that safety stuff. So that's what we've been doing. So we're going to go out and see what the chickens are like or give you an update of the chickens. Is there still a living life high on the hog? No, hold on. That's mixing metaphors. Uh, birds on the fowl of uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> they're fouling themselves. No, they're they're living life on the high perch, or something along those lines. Um, you, you'll find that they're doing fine. Um, we had a little bit of snow after the last little while. You can see that the tarps are ma mainly covered. So there's the one. And there's the other one. And then this, the high tunnel has been holding up very, very nicely. You can see a little bit of snow on the sides where the excess has settled down off the edges. And let's go see what the birds are up to. Oh, some of them are up on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Standing on one more. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. What you up to? Huh? They seem to like the snow on our boots. They come immediately as soon as there's snow. You gonna come down? You gonna come down? Oh, look, they hollowed out the entire uh, pumpkin, Rich. Rich. Coming in, Elves. Come on, Elves. Come on, Elves. They hollowed out the entire pumpkin. It's empty. Who wants some of these? Still water in the pail? Oh, it's about half full. Yeah.
Is it well cleaned out everywhere? Pretty good, yeah. This one's pecking at our roof, Rachel. Make sure that you're not sitting in yeah. chicken squat. Dad, I come out here more than you do. I think I was here once last week. Glad I'm wearing gloves. Uh, it doesn't hurt when they stuck at you. I beg to differ. This one's getting quite dark. Oh, Mirabelle, you heading inside? They go to town on those, don't okay. oh, yeah. Girls, you didn't see what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, someone's <laughs> putting themselves to bed already. Getting There's a prime in there. spot. Yeah. Early bird gets the worm? No. Oh, worms are out here. Hello, hello. What you doing? What you doing? Hi, laser. Who? <laughs> Ow, that's my glove. You think this? Hello, ladies. Hello. Slide her off. Just give her, give her an incentive. I think they can escape. We, we've what got happens. two escapees. Chicken, potential chicken, escapees. Chicken run? What was that movie called? Yeah. Chicken Run? Such a good movie. The animated thing? Yeah. Or Stop at uh, Claymation? Good boy, Albie. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. How about you sit, Albs? How about you sit? You just sit. Sit. Right there. Right there. Right there. Sit. 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 Oh, look at how fluffy that one is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy that they can do that. And only five out? So six are in? Right beside you, Dad. Yeah, I know. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's, 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 had his, he's had his fill. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were... Come to do this, but I thought, oh, I'm out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at they're getting white on their neck feathers. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh -huh. Trying to pick my pocket or peck my pocket? <laughs> They'll pick it if they can. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Always standing on one leg. Is that normal? Yeah, they do that. They stop and they do that. 
She's just like, I don't know, I'm going to put the other one up. They're slowly making their way in. Okay. Is that Mirabelle? Uh, I think Mirabelle's inside, actually. Oh. She's the first one to go. She's a little lighter than that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it walked behind you. Yep. And you're getting some feathers in the front there. Yeah, like look at the neck feathers on this one. Yeah. Should we uh, plug the heater in? Yeah, we should definitely plug the heater in. I don't know how cold it's supposed to be, but... Minus 12, I think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Three more. They're falling you, Trish. Yeah. I think laser's still the biggest. Oh, is there three or four more? There's one here. There's two, one three. over here. Oh, one so there's four here. then. Four left. Just on the lowest? Yep. Uh, we reserve. It feels like minus 12 or actual minus 12? Uh, actual minus 12. <laughs> But it's not supposed to, uh, it's supposed to storm later on in the week. Yeah, we're supposed to get 15 centimeters on Thursday. Well, uh, they're talking 5 to 10 is what I saw. Weather Network says 15. So I'll clean out their thing tomorrow. By Friday morning? And, uh, move them. Well, I think I'm not going to move them up. I'm going to kind of move it around. Turn it side and turn it around? Turn it the other way? The other way. <clears throat> They might be the smallest. I think they can move their feathers to make them look <laughs> bigger and smaller. Sure they can. That's their insulation. The more air that they have in, the more insulation that they end up with. So two left? Two left. And they're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's going to peck at the light. <laughs> Water is half full. Mm -hmm. okay. I think this is. Um, I can do the chicken tomorrow. Right Myrtle. Oh, it's really dark. I don't know. I don't know. They all look dark. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny. This morning, the five of the dark ones are all there, and the white ones came to me. Those are little clips. Look at what they did to the pumpkin moth. Did you see? Yeah, good. All out. Is it all out then? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Leave it a couple we'll give them another squash tomorrow. You just don't want to go in? I'm thinking there's more. Too much fun out here. You better get your squash. <laughs> they did spread a bunch of them. Um, Mealworms? Mealworms. None of them noticed. They're all busy. Mm -hmm. Getting what I had here. There'll be surprises for tomorrow. Yep. Okay. You're in. Okay. Okay, close her up. I think it's cool that they put themselves to bed even when we are in here. 